on this side of the right uh, driver's side, well, actually, left side. This cap here, rubber cap comes up, and then we gotta pull that snap ring. There's a snap ring in there. I'm gonna pop that out. Get my snap ring pliers. It don't want to come loose. That one's going to be a pain because it's notched. Let's Come on, pop up. All right, I got this part up and out. <clears throat> I just need to work it on around. side now oh come on I can tell this thing is going to be a pain to get back into no 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 don't you pop back down in there Come on. <clears throat> I can usually grab it, pull it, and it'll spring right on around out. This one does not appear to want to play that way. Come on. And we'll have to pry and work around. Work it out of the groove. Come on, turn around. Here we go. Work your way on around. There it goes. There we go. Woo, that's a pain. Now we need to pull the stopper out. Looks like there's a M5 screw. M6. You get a new one of these with the kit, with new seals and everything on it. And then we need to pull that out, which actually has the uh, packet on it. First, get down in there. Grab the cartridge. Oh, there's a lot of stop leak and uh, dye in it. I don't see really a whole lot of metal, though. I think the uh, seal went on the compressor and it just seized. And that's what sh shredded the belt and that pulley broke. Okay, I'm gonna put a new one in. Here's the kit. 
flush with nitrogen so it won't absorb water. And then you got your new um, cap. Yeah, I don't think I need to worry about the lines. Um, I'm still going to <sighs> probably still going to flush it just to get all the dye out of it. And um, let me grab a light and look down in there. clean to me just I mean it looks dirty but it doesn't look like there's any major metal fragments in here so I think we're good with the system we just need to swap the pump replace the desiccant dryer and uh, pull the vacuums make sure nothing leaks and then we'll do a pressure test actually I'm probably gonna do a pressure test first then I'll pull a vacuum because it'll take a while to do a vacuum and don't forget to put the bolts in first. I'm going to try to work this thing down in there. Oops. Come on, it's getting hung up. Frame rail right there. Oh, there we go. Get down. Got it. All right, now let's start the one on the bottom. Boom is always in my face or in my back. Threads might be stripped out on that one. Yeah, there's no threads. Huh, okay, so that's a problem. I saw threads in one of the end of the bolts, but I thought it was deeper in the hole. Apparently, the threads for that uh, in the block there for that are stripped out. Okay, um, I have to take it back out. Whoever worked on this was a tool, literally. They really screwed things up on this. Actually, threads there. Why did it not uh, work as intended? <clears throat> oh, nasty. Uh, it must not have uh, lined up all the way with it. It's one thing I can think of. I'm gonna need one that's about 15 millimeters longer. I just don't see how that's possible because there's enough thread. Let's see. 
Actually, no, there's not. So apparently when that thing bucked and broke the pulley, it ripped the last three threads out of the block. <sighs> so there are threads there, but they're a little bit deeper and that bolt is not actually able to grab them, which means that bolt is only holding on by three threads, which is crappy engineering. So I'm going to order a bolt. I guess I'll go ahead and put the headlights in. We'll come back to the air, air conditioning later.